Python has become one of the most popular programming languages for over a decade. But in 2025, is it still worth learning? Or is it starting to fade out of relevance? Let's break it down. So first, let's talk numbers. Python has consistently ranked among the top programming languages in the world in 2025. It remains one of the most in-demand languages for software development, including data science, AI, and automation. Companies from startups to tech giants like Google, Microsoft, and Netflix, they're all still heavily relying on Python in terms of demand. Python is still a clear winner, but what makes Python so useful? Let's look at where it really shines. So we already mentioned AI and machine learning. If you're into this, if you want to learn artificial intelligence, Python is a dominant language. This is thanks to libraries like TensorFlow and PyTorch. Another area that Python still shines is web development. You have frameworks like Django and Flask, which make Python a powerful option for building websites and web apps. And we can't forget cybersecurity and pen testing. You have tools like Metasploit and Scapy that rely on Python and make it a must know for ethical hacking. And finally, we got to talk about automation and scripting just in general. If you want to automate repetitive tasks or build useful tools, Python is perfect for saving time. So if any of these areas interest you, Python is still a great choice, but let's be real. Python does have some downsides. It's not the fastest language. So for performance critical applications, languages like C++, Rust, or Go, they're probably gonna be better for you. In terms of web development, uh, it's evolved to the point where JavaScript frameworks like Next.js are dominating that space. And finally, mobile app development, Python has never really been the strongest option. There you're gonna to wanna to look at options like Swift, Java, or Kotlin. That said, Python is not going anywhere. It just depends on what you want to do. So should you learn Python in 2025? Here's my take. Yes, if you're interested in AI, data science, cybersecurity, or just general automation, or if you're looking for job opportunities in tech, it never hurts to just have Python on your resume. And finally, if you are a beginner and you want a beginner friendly language with a huge community and tons of resources, Python is a great option. Now, you may not be interested in learning Python if you're focusing on mobile app development. Here you want to learn Swift, Java or Kotlin. They're better options. If you're doing high performance applications, you're going to want to look at something like Rust or Go, C++. These are going to be better options. So the final verdict is Python is still one of the best programming languages to learn in 2025, especially for beginners and those working in AI, data science, and cybersecurity. Now, do you want to learn Python? If you do, just check out the links in the description. I put some links to some great resources to help get you started. And if you found this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more tech content. All right, I'll see you in the next video.